Welcome to Elid Storytelling Time. Title on Cats and Anthology, Episode 2 From the Freud's Journal of Lou Andreas Salome, 1913. He spent Sunday afternoon until evening at Freud's, this time much more personal conversation, during which he told me of his life and I promised to bring photographs next time. Most personal of all, perhaps, was his charming account of the narcissistic cat, while Freud's maintained his office on the ground floor. The cat had climbed in through the open window. He did not care much for cats or dogs or animals generally, and in the beginning the cat aroused mixed feelings in him, especially when it climbed down from the sofa on which it had made itself comfortable and began to inspect in passing the antique objects which he had placed for the time being on the floor. He was afraid that by chasing it away, he might cause it to move recklessly in the midst of these precious treasures of his. But when the cat proceeded to make known its archaeological satisfaction, by purring and with its light grace did not cause the slightest damage, Freud's heart melted and he ordered milk for it. From then on, the cat claimed its rights daily to take a place on sofa, inspect the antiques, and get its bowl of milk. However, despite Freud's increasing affection and admiration, the cat paid him not a bit of attention and coldly turned its green eyes with their slanting pupils towards him as toward any other object. When for an instant he wanted more of the cat than its egoistic, narcissistic purring, he had to put his foot down from his comfortable chase and court its attention with the ingenious enticement of his shoe toe. Finally, after this unequal relationship had lasted a long time without change, one day he found the cat feverish and gasping on the sofa. And although it was most painstakingly treated with hot fomentations and other remedies, it succumbed to pneumonia. Leaving not of itself but a symbolic picture of all the peaceful and playful charm of true egoism. The End <laughs>